Good morning and welcome to Kadikoy, a district in the Asian part of Istanbul. Apparently Kadikoy has lots of great street art and I'm going to be using a street art trail today to get me around the whole area. So let's begin. Last night it was absolutely packed in this area. One of the local football teams were playing and all the bars were showing the game and uh, yeah it was it was very very busy. Today it's very quiet. Maybe people are having a quiet morning after last night's shenanigans. Come across our first huge mural on this street, which is one of the uh, bar streets. I did see this one the other day, but I didn't get close up to it. I didn't realise that the guy's face is actually made up of numbers. Some of the blogs that I read online about the Asian side of Istanbul said that the area is kind of more local and quieter than the European side. Don't believe it. There's probably more bars in this area than any of the other areas I've been in. Right down there in the heart of uh, the district, there's just tons and tons of bars. It's a very vibrant part of Istanbul and if you are spending a few days here then get on the ferry and head to Kadikoy. It's much cheaper than the European side as well and there's a lot more kind of street food options. Last night I got a kebab for 10 Turkish lira which is about 50 pence. Now this street that I've just come on is not on my street art map that I'm following but there appears to be tons of it that's the mosaic house when I'm heading to these different murals and different pieces of street art, I have no idea what they're going to be. I just literally have the locations, I have no other information. The next one I've come to is really cool because I think this uh, is a school of some kind or some kind of education centre because all the graffiti around it is all books and uh, you know we've got the hands holding the pencils and things like that, the girl writing in a book and uh, the mural here is one of the uh, Pakistani educational activist Malala Yousafzai and can see how my Turkish is <laughs> non-existent so I don't know what this says but in on her face we have the words education love peace stop war All to do with the power of education. Very nice, and it just keeps going on. Right over on the other side. Wow, it just goes on and on. The whole building is surrounded by it. We've moved away from the centre of the area now, um, but this street is just filled with coffee shops and vintage clothes shops. The next thing that I'm going to go and look at is not actually a piece of street art, but a monument. In Istanbul you will come across lots of street cats and street dogs and they all seem pretty well looked after to be honest. People put out water and food and even cushions for them to sleep on. One cat in particular actually became famous in round about 2014. Someone took a picture of this cat and put it up on the internet and it became an internet phenomenon, a meme. 
his cat was called Tom Billy. Tom Billy is a common name that Turkish people give to chubby pets. Now Tom Billy was very popular with the local residents because it was very very friendly but also because of the way it used to lean against the steps when it used to take a rest. It was a photo of the cat doing this that became an internet meme. Now, unfortunately Tom Billy died in August 2016. He came very seriously ill and then passed away. Just outside of Kerikoy there's a memorial apparently. Now it has been stolen from time to time so I'm not exactly sure whether it will actually still be here or not. It's about half an hour walk outside the centre but I, mean, I just walked past this. There's, there's a street art everywhere and it's fantastic. There's some old monument or memorial here that's just been left to ruin really. I'm not sure what this is. We've got a Salvador Dali as a punk over there. Over here we have the Fernabachi Stadium which there was a game yesterday and I wanted to go there but it seems like a right pain to get tickets. You have to apply for a pass and then you have to have a something called a HEI code or something and I had like a few hours to get all this together so I decided against it in the end I really should have read the reviews on Google Maps before walking half an hour out of the city centre to go and see this uh, memorial to the cat it's not here anymore <laughs> Apparently it was moved years ago and uh, no one's mentioned that it's come back apparently this whole street was uh, under renovation and that's why they removed the cat promising that it would return but I can't see any signs of any renovation going on now and I also can't see any signs of the cat so the last part of that half hour trek bit of a waste of time What the hell is this? <laughs> it's not been a total waste of time because I have discovered some street art that isn't on the map like this one. Whilst I was filming that last piece of street art just to my right, this one here, there was a stall selling donuts and the woman shouted me over and I said no I'm okay but I've not eaten anything yet and I thought Do you know what donuts will uh, keep me going until I find some actual food so I've just been back and I said uh, how much? No money. Free. <laughs> Free donuts. How about that? Well, I'm nearly on the back streets now. Apparently there's some kind of mural on the side of number 19. This is number 19 so I'm guessing it's up here. Can't quite make it out the full thing. Oh my next one is down here somewhere. Wow. Look at that. This is great because as I said earlier I have no idea what I'm going to come across. All I have is the locations. So it could just be a tiny little piece so it could be a huge meal like this. That's great. I just had half time kebab because I'm just entering an area now which I did visit the other day and there are tons of murals around here so some of these will have already been in a different vlog but it makes sense to include them in this one as well because there are some great pieces up here This one's called Africa by an artist called Freddy Sam. 2013. I think there was a street art festival in Istanbul in 2013 and that's where a lot of the uh, big murals um, came from. 
Now that is one that I did spot the other day, but what I didn't realise is that just around the corner around here there are apparently quite a few more. It's just incredible. Literally just at the edge of these buildings here is the uh, piece called Africa that I did see the other day and I didn't walk up this street and I've walked up here now there's a huge mural down there which I'm going to take a look at there's one over there I'm not sure I can get to it and this one here so all these I missed just because I didn't walk down one street this is a really nice one as well this is all in breath from 2018 and according to my maps there's a couple around here so oh in fact here we go <laughs> what a fantastic area this is got this one here which you can spot from a mile off but then when you get here and you just turn to your left look at that that's amazing that's a really cool one captain borderline This is one that I saw the other day. This one must have taken some time, because when you actually get close to it, you can see that the whole thing's been made out of wire. When I was looking for this one, I was kind of expecting it to be a small piece because I seem to be on a row of terraced buildings but then I came to the end and check this out not come across this one yet a huge mural right in the heart of the area I was exploring the other day and I missed this one it's just incredible I can't believe it I was walking around here the other day looking for uh, street art I got about four or five saved and I missed all of these, and look at the size of the bloody thing. The next piece I'm looking for is basically just around this corner. And I'm thinking, there can't be many more of these huge mules that I actually managed to miss the other day. I did know when I was walking around and I was seeing these mules that there could be more around any corner. But I wasn't expecting them to be huge pieces like this. Now these two I did see the other day. Just next to this uh, car park you've got two huge pieces. I came here to look at the street art on the electric box and then found this old dog having a good old snooze. It was quite incredible because I've been here twice now and looked at this one and looked at that one and both times I missed this one. How can I miss it? I have stood there twice and took photos and filmed and both times I missed this one it's only because I've come back on myself that I've spotted it two more pieces that I did come across the other day first one there which I'm presuming is some kind of save the planet message and then this one I don't know what's going on here Another new one on me, I didn't see this one. There's another one very, very close to where I'm stood right now, which I've just come around the corner and seen it, and it's just mind blowing. So, I had got a few pieces of street art saved to my maps, and when I did my vlog about the Asian side of Istanbul when I visited the other day, I walked around this area and I thought I'd seen most of them, all of them, but there's just tons. I mean, when you're walking up here, this suddenly appears I mean how can you miss this
don't know who it is it's by an artist called Lonak 2018 very beautiful loader this is on the next street down this is by a German artist called Dome again another new one on me it's just amazing because I'm heading now towards two huge pieces of street art which I did see when I came over the other day because you basically when you get off the ferry you basically walk walk into the city and the, these are facing you so these are pretty much the first thing I noticed and that's how close we are look what happens when we get around the corner totally not seeing this one When I first came to the Asian side of Istanbul the other day I got off the ferry just over there and these were the first two things that I saw two really bright, vibrant, colourful pieces of street art and this is where I'm going to end this vlog I'm sure you'll agree there's been some amazing murals along the way it's absolutely blown my mind because I've been walking around an area that I've already been in and found, you know, half a dozen new, huge murals which I can't believe that I missed them. It just confirms to me that this is one of the best areas to visit in Istanbul. So if you do come to Istanbul and you've got a few days, get over to the Asian side. You really don't want to miss it.